All right, what's going on, guys? We're going to be going over the long lever plank shoulder taps, a little bit of a mouthful, and this is a obviously progression from the normal plank. We'll be doing it from our hands, um, and so there, there's going to be like a plank component. It'll be a little bit more challenging. We're going to a longer lever. We'll go over that. Um, also, the shoulder tap component takes us through a anti-rotation core element where we're actually preventing rotation with our core and our hips. Um, and also some shoulder health as a result of just holding our body with this, which you'll see what I mean by, by this, which I'm going over right now. Um, so we get into position, we'll go over some, uh, some things to watch out. It's a pretty simple exercise, although it is fairly challenging. And the one thing I'll say is it's kind of up to you how challenging it gets. This is not an exercise where you can, oh, this is too easy, I want a harder exercise. I'll show you how to make it harder. And honestly, like I, I can still make it too hard to do for myself. So. Um, I'll show you that once we get into it. So the typical plank shoulder tap would be done from our hands. We just get into a normal plank position. And we're going here. It's just tapping the shoulders. We're getting core right here, but we're also getting core from uh, not letting the, um, letting the spine shift around. So as far as the long lever plank goes, that involves tippy toe and back and getting the hands out front. I'm, I'm gonna kind of stay right here just so I don't kind of um, slip as this floor is a little bit slippery, but I'll widen my feet a little bit and it's the same idea. Now, like I was talking about, I only got out a little bit and I can actually, like if I'm on a better floor and um, didn't just wash my hands, uh, I wouldn't be slipping so easily and I can kind of get way wider. And this exercise would be like, I, I, can, I, I can forget the shoulder tap point um, and actually just do a plank and actually make this too hard to hold for 15 to 20 seconds if I get really, really out long like a, um, like, you know, like I'm Superman or something. Uh, so get out longer, don't force it. The one thing I want to um, show you though is the more narrow your feet are, like if your feet are, you know, right here, you're gonna sway much more. If you wanna make this a little bit easier, narrow hands and wider feet, this makes, a lot easier if I go here this is like see how I have to shift over so if you need to go a little bit wider to make this possible go for it I don't want you rushing what we don't want to see is you know like like control the hips control the shoulders tap slowly what we don't want to see is eyes coming up or shoulder coming down we want this firm reaching into the floor so as you're reaching through and you're taking the hand off, nothing should budge. You should be really firm at the shoulder. Other than that, normal plank, normal plank technique applies. We don't want to be arched. We want to get that belly button towards the belt buckle and feel the abs in the starting place. We want the chin tucked, knees tightened up. So no drooping down here. We want to be in that normal plank. If we're onto this exercise, if you're doing this exercise and you're in the right place, you should know how to do a plank already anyways. So, if we were to see a video of it, it should look like a good plank. And otherwise, widen, widen your feet a little bit, take it slow on the shoulder tap, chin towards the ground, and, uh, and avoid letting the, sh letting the hips sway. And of course, as you get, you know, I'll show you quickly how wide I can get if I can. But I can go, you know, around here and hold it but I wouldn't be able to do a shoulder tap comfortably. So this is not an exercise where you're gonna go longer. Um, this is not an exercise where it's gonna to be too easy anytime soon. You can always get wider and longer in the plank and make this much, much more challenging. And again, this is great for your core, great for anti-rotation, so side of your core, um, and, also, uh, and also shoulder health as well, because when you are holding it from this position, you get a lot of shoulder stability, especially in a position where the core is activated and your arms are overhead, which is something that you're not doing on a daily basis. So when you reach up to the cupboard, you may not realize that you might be arching your back or something like that. So that core activation teaches better mechanics. It's gonna be better for your shoulder, better for your core in general, and obviously very challenging from a, a metabolic point of view and also just uh, good for the abs as well. So that's the long lever, long lever plank from hands, shoulder taps. Um, if you have any questions, I usually I, I usually put that through, um, you know, second to a uh, it's to a leg exercise or 
um, you know, to finish off in, in a tri set or something like that at the end of the program. I usually program it for anywhere from four to eight per side. And uh, that's the long lever plank shoulder taps. If you have any questions, reach out, let me know.